please forgive me i will have to make this a little bit fast next thing i'll do is that i'll work on the eyes and teeth but now no teeth just the eyes so i go to my action remember you can get actions online free actions for whitening eyes and whitening teeth so i click here and just want to whiten my eyes and i'm good so Okay, put it here, go 70, no, 70 is too much, so let me go 60 or 55, okay, this is good, 55 is good, yes, yeah. copy match, after whitening eyes, I whiten teeth, I copy match the layer, and for me on the Mac is command option shift E, I'm using the Mac, so forgive me. I use flint actions for frequency separation and I use 16 bit because I saved that 16 bit from Capture One. So this here is what I use. So play button, continue. Um, look at blow that I want. So let me just say, let me just say nine. Okay. Continue. Okay, come here. So I go to the low F here and I will just use the lasso tool and blow out. So Let's click. Foul, blow, Gaussian blow. Nice, right, so let me just say 10. Okay, click, come here. So I'm just blowing it out with Gaussian blow. As you can see just slight adjustments. I'll go to the HF, that's for texture, and press clone stamp too. Okay, so just, what can I clean? Please do the skin also, like low F, just blow out the skin. Okay. So blow, machine blow, then, okay, here also. Okay, so this. Okay, so I think I'm good. Next thing I'll do is I'll use the mixer brush to make it work. So let me see, I go to mixer brush.
so now I'm done with the mixer brush. Remember, mixer brush was used on low F. This is before, this after, before, after. What I'll do next is that I'll do dodge and burn. As you can see, this is what I do like very fast. I try to make it very fast so I can just let it go dodge and burn. So come here and B for brush. Let's make this 3%. So this place has to be on white because I'm on light, so. Try to create like a V here. before after so this I'm going to burn let's use two percent okay so two percent flow now for darks we are using black because I want to burn so let's come here and make, let's burn remember you can always take your time to perfect it just trying to show you how I do it. So this, yeah, just the chain and under the lips sometimes I might do that. Forgive me. Yeah, I'll make it pop. Okay. Yeah. So as you can see, so this, this two, put it inside a group and before, after. This is how I do a quick retouch for brighter portraits. Yeah. As you can see, it's good. And remember, if you need more, you can always do other things you want to. Like here, we have a little bit of color. You can remove it. Here, I might actually use a color balance. Shadows, let's see, shadows, let me move this a little bit of this. Yep. And if the neck is dark for you, you can actually put a little bit of brightness there or try to blend the skin tone. If you feel you want to still take away magenta fill here, you can actually create another color balance and just say, okay, so let's say mid tones, let's take it away. Okay, so command I. B for brush, then I take it 100%. So I'll just paint under her chin, get, just remove the um, magenta I'm, I'm seeing. You might not see it from there, but I'm seeing the magenta under her chin. And good. So remember, you can always go ahead and work on the skin, like for separation, you can do mix up brush for the skin. Just do what you feel is better for your pictures. So this, but just try and mix. Yeah. I think I might have to liquefy this place in a little bit. So here I'll press Command Shift Option E, then File Liquefy. Yes. So I might push this in some more. Just 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 watch it. Uh, watch it. This. Put in. Gently. Also watch the lines. Okay, what what the line? Okay, so before after can see it. You can also smooth in the skin. If you want to smooth in the skin, you're allowed to do that. But for me, sometimes this is just good enough. And if you want to just make it a little bit smooth, add portraiture and you're good to go. So I'll be showing you how to add portraiture in another video. So this is just good to go. So before, 
after. I want to look at Friday knows. I'm trying to see if there's a need for it, but maybe. So let's try it. Let's go to file. Uh, liquify. So the knows uh, this has to be coming to be just slight adjustments, slight, very little adjustments. Uh, yes, so small, small adjustments. Zoom out so you can see what you're doing. Zoom out a little bit. So. Still pointed. I think I like it like this. I think I'm good with this. Remember, you can always do it your own way, but for me, I'm good with this. So I'll press OK. And you can see before, after, before, after. So you can also darken the background. You get just come here. Pick, okay, this, I'm good like this. Come to curves, bring it down. Command I, go to filter, go to blur, Gaussian blur, take it to the highest. As you can see, it's giving it a kind of vignette around the image, so press OK before, after. And for me, this is OK, but you can also reduce this a little bit, just Thanks for watching. This is all for now. So next week we'll have another video coming up and I'll show you how to use portraiture. But for this, this is like sweet. So this is the final edit of our beautiful bride model. Before, this is the after. Wow. Thank you for watching and keep editing. See you next week.